in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a help desk job with no degree and no experience. It is one of the few IT jobs that you can land starting from zero. And I'm going to show you a way that always works, that's proven to work and that you can do fast. It does not cost any money, but it will require a few weeks of your time and then a few weeks looking for jobs. And that is about it. I gathered the pieces for the strategy from experts and weeks of research. And the idea was to create a plan so good that I would want to use it myself. And this is the exact plan that I'm going to share with you in this video. Now, there's a problem with these online IT courses that claim to help you become job ready because oftentimes that is not the case. They do help you learn many skills, but that is not enough. But to become job ready, we just need two things, and that is to be qualified and to be credible. Now, becoming qualified isn't actually that hard, and I guarantee that you have a few of the skills already. You'll need to be good at problem solving and critical thinking. And this is so that you can diagnose and resolve issues when they appear. You'll also need good communication skills, being able to express yourself clearly and understand other people. Now, this is not only through speech. Communication is also sending emails and writing different reports. Next, you'll need some customer service skills. You can learn this, but in general, it's just about having enough patience and empathy to deal with users. They're often frustrated because something isn't working and they need your help. There's also multitasking, attention to detail, and being able to adapt to a changing environment. But now let's talk about the technical skills that you'll need. And here's the thing, a lot of people misunderstand this. They think it's all about becoming an IT expert, that you're able to solve every single problem and you know, you have to do everything, and that is completely false. To get accepted for jobs, you'll just need to learn a few key things. This includes having a basic understanding of hardware and software, and these are basically the physical components of the computer, as well as the programs that run on the computers. You should know how to operate and troubleshoot different computer systems and software, including the basics of different operating systems like Windows, Mac, or Linux. You should also know the basics of networking and to be able to resolve issues that occur. And there can be specific skills required depending on the company and your tasks. One thing that's super important to remember is that you don't need to be an expert and you only need to be one step ahead of the person that you're supposed to be helping. If there's something that is too advanced for you, you'll just escalate it up to a more senior person on your team. One day that might be you, but now in the beginning there's no need to worry. You can learn many of these things on the job as well, so don't worry if your expertise isn't fully complete, we're only just getting started. Now once you're ready, it is time to move on to step number two. And step two is all about becoming credible, because having the skills is not enough. We need a way to prove ourselves that we're actually credible. So let's fix it. The most basic way is by getting a degree, and we all know about this one. And if you already have a degree, especially in like a relevant field, that can definitely help, such as IT, computer science, computer engineering, and so on. But a degree takes an enormous amount of time, and if you're looking for a job now, that is simply not an option. Now luckily, a degree is not actually required for a help desk job. Instead, we'll take a look at certifications. A certification can be really helpful even if you do have a degree and some experience, but it's especially valuable for those that are starting from zero. A certification is a way to distinguish yourself and prove that you have the skills necessary, that you're actually certified in something. Now, there's a big misconception here, and if you do take an online course and you receive some kind of certificate of completion at the end, that is not the same as taking a certification. There are fantastic online courses, but I'm talking about real proctored one-time exams. The most popular certification on the market is the CompTIA A+. It is recognized across the entire industry and appears in more tech support job listings than any other IT credential. Companies like Dell, Intel, HP, Nissan, and many more are even specifically looking for this credential when they're hiring for these jobs. The CompTIA a certificate contains nine core areas. We have hardware, operating systems, software troubleshooting, networking, troubleshooting security, mobile devices, virtualization and cloud computing, and also operational procedures. That is a lot, but to prepare for this one, it isn't actually that hard, and they do have an exam guide, which I do recommend that you check out. A good way to just get a gentle introduction to the field is by taking the Google IT Support Professional Certificate on Coursera. This is a six month course, part time, but most people that I've talked to have completed it in about two months and it's pretty fast to do. It's at a really low cost or even free and available for complete beginners and just about anyone. 
This course will help you build a solid foundation and then what you can do is just fill in the gaps to prepare for the certification later. All right, moving on to the next step, which is absolutely critical. And there's only one real obstacle to get a help desk job. The skills required are not that difficult to get, but the thing that I'm going to talk to you about next can waste so much of your time and even make you quit and never get a job. I'm going to show you exactly what it is and more importantly, how to fix it. Let's say that you send 50 job applications and receive one interview. If you do well and get accepted, then you're hired and you have a job already. But if you fail the interview, you'll have to send another 50 job applications to be able to try again. And what if you have to do it again and take more and more interviews? Suddenly it becomes a lot of extra work and hundreds of bonus job applications that you shouldn't really have to send. So I found a few key things to pass your interview. First, understand the common interview questions. For example, even simple things like tell me about yourself and what are your strengths and weaknesses can definitely throw you off if you haven't figured them out beforehand. So it's really, really important to practice this. There are also the technical questions or the problem solving questions by applying the IT knowledge to a real situation. To practice all of this, you can do mock interviews, and I highly recommend this. There are websites like Interviewing and Big Interview that have specific practice scenarios for IT support jobs. You'll be asked a question and then answer while being recorded. The recording is only to make it more realistic for you and to give you a chance to review it after, but it's not shared with anybody else. If you don't want to do this, you can just record yourself on your phone or stand in front of a mirror. That works pretty good too. Now, there's also a way to make sure that you're always answering in the best possible way during the interview. When solving problems in the interview, you can use the STAR method, S-T-A-R, and it stands for situation, task, action, and result. And if you make sure to include each of these pieces in your answer, then your answer is going to be significantly better. Now, there are many more things you can do, such as building a portfolio, but before adding extra things and making it very complicated, just try applying to some jobs. If there's one thing people always say is that they wish they would have just applied sooner and put themselves out there on the job market. By applying for jobs, even if you do get rejected and that's completely fine, you will learn a ton. You'll get to see job descriptions and what companies are actually looking for. You'll get to practice interviewing. And most importantly, you're putting yourself out there to even be able to get a job. Now check out this video up next where we learn more about IT and how to get a job. And thanks for watching.